Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to cut this circular gown. So let's get started. So please, if you have not subscribed, please join the family, subscribe, press the notification bell to get notified, like and share this video. So I'll be using two and a half yards for this dress. You can use two yards, just depend on the fabric that you have. The first thing you do, you fold it into two like this, like this. Then you, you fold it in a diagonal form. You fold it like this, then you fold it like this. After folding this, what we have, you can see, this is the open part, the back, and this is the center front, as you can see. There's no opening here. So now the shoulder measurement is 16. 16 divided by 2, I have 8. 16 divided by 2, I have 8. So I'll be placing my 8 inches here. So you look for where you get your 8 inches. So this is 8. So I will just rule it out. So these are our 8 inches. Then I'll just mark my neckline, which is 3 inches. You can always adjust it. Then on this part, I'll take 1 inches down on this part for the shoulder slope. So I'll slope it down to this point. From this one, from this shoulder slope, I will take down 7 inches. This is where my ham hole will stop. So where we have this line is where we'll be taking our bust measurement. The bust measurement is 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches. This is 11 inches. So I'll be adding extra. So I'll be adding extra 1.5 inches here. So I'll rule it down. The next thing I'll be doing, I'll shape this part out like this. So the next thing we'll be taking now is the length of the gown. So I'll take the full length of the gown, which is 35 inches. So I'll take it from this line. I'll take it from this line all the way down. And I'll mark it out. So I'll mark 35 inches. So this is the 35 inches, as you can see. So I'll be cutting it out. So as you can see, I've cut out the full length of the gown. So now we'll be working on the upper part of the dress. So now this is our shoulder line. We'll take out our neckline. So I'll be using 3.5 inches. 3.5 inches by 4.5. So this will be our neckline. On this shoulder line, I will measure half an inch for the shoulder joining. So this is the half an inch to join the shoulder together. So this is it. Then for the back neckline, I'll be using just one inch. So this is for the back neckline. So I'll curve it like this. So this is the back and this is the front. So the next thing I'll do is to cut out. So I'll open this part. I'll open this part. So this is what we have. So I'll bring out the front, the front part. So this, this. So I have to reshape my neckline. So now I have to cut out the neck, the front neckline. Then I'll, on the angle part, I will remove 1.5 inches. This side, I'll be removing 1.5 inches. You can you can work with one inch, half an inch, but I just want to use 1.5. So this is the 1.5 inches here. So I'll just connect it. I'll connect it out to meet the ham O like this. Then I'll shape it out. I'll also do the same thing for the back. So this is for the front and I also have for the back. If you want to reduce the, the wideness of the peplum, let me... So I'm going to trim it out. I don't want it to be too wide at the bottom. You can actually do this when you are folding your fabric and you can also do it after cutting out. So I'll just reduce it from this bottom part. You can reduce it based on what you want. Like I said, to remove seven inches. So let me remove seven inches. So this is my seven inches. I'll be cutting it out from the, the bottom of the flake. So I'll just, from here to this part, I'll just rule it straight down.
So this is how I'll be cutting it. I'll cut it straight. So I've reduced this as you can see. So the next thing we'll do now is to join. For the joining of the neckline, you can decide to cut your facing. You can use your facing to for it, or you use your bias tape to fold it. So I'll be using my bias tape for it. I'll be cutting out the pocket. So after this is is two. So I'll fold it into two to make I'll fold it into two like this. I'll get four pieces. So I'll just curve it, place my hand like this. Then yeah. we'll just curve it out. So what I have here now is seven inches, which is okay. So like this. You can decide to you can decide to cut it straight, but I'll be cutting it like this. Then I'll cut it out. So this is what I'll be using for the pocket. So the next thing I'll do now is to insert the pocket. On my shoulder to where I want to fix the pocket is 19 inches. So I'll make, mark 19. So I'll mark 19 inches. So this is where I'll be inserting the pocket. Now measure 7 inches down. So this is the 7 inches. I'll not it to know where to where I'll not it to know where to fix my pocket. So the next thing I will do now is to fix my pocket. This you can see this is the pocket. So we we'll place it like this, then sew it down. Let me secure it with pin. So I'll place the pocket on this notch part. I'll use my pin to pin it down. Then I'll do the same for the other side and also for the back. And also for the back. So this is our pocket, as you can see. So I'll do the same thing for the back. Then we are going to join. We join the two sides together, the front and the back. From this point, this ham O, we sew it like this, through the pocket, then to the bottom of the dress. You can see I'm done joining the two sides. So the next thing we'll be doing now is to join the shoulder. So you join the shoulder like this. Then if there's any excess, like what we have here, I will trim out this excess. I'll use my bias tape to turn the neckline and the arm O. You can use facing for this, and you can also use your lining for this. So I'll turn the neckline and the arm O. After that, I'll fold the bottom of the dress. So as you can see, I've turned the, the neckline with my bias. If I use my bias to turn the arm O, I have to take my measurement. You take your measurement of your arm O. The measurement of your arm hole to be sure you have your accurate arm hole measurement. So I want now I have 8.5, so I'll just trim it out a little here yeah. from here. So I will use my bias tape to turn the arm hole, then fold the bottom of the dress. 